When, when I left Ghana, mm -hmm. that time, I, I left in 89. I mean, I left Ghana when I was, I just turned 21. 21. Yeah, and then I uh, lived, I spent 19 years in Germany. And then um, I spent 14 years in the UK. Wow. Yeah, so you know, I spent like 33 years outside. Years my main thing was to come home. For kids to know my mom, yeah. to bond with their grandma. To know the uncles and you know get the kids to bond with their with their family here because my wife's um, uh, mom is mixed she's half german half yeah. black american okay. and the dad is full german so let's say my wife is uh, a quarter yeah she's hi guys i know mark is a this video if you're near my journey my name is vanessa i'm in nigeria in Nakagara. and today we have a guest on the channel we are still doing our uh, YouTube creators first, day one, so we have a lot of content creators here. Today we have a special guest. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? My name is Douglas Nemo. Douglas Nemo. Yes. And I'm based in Kumasi. Based in Kumasi. Yes. I came purposely for the event here. You are a content creator also? Yes. Um, what kind of content do you create? Um, content? We have a family channel. A channel is called Family by Nature. Family by mm -hmm. Nature. So you create... Uh, the whole family creates yeah, content we, together. The good thing is we are a family of eight. Yeah. So uh, we are diversified. So sometimes I can create with the girls, I can create with the boys, or I can create together. Okay. Yeah. Because sometimes um, the girls are in school, we have an idea and you shoot with the boys. Yeah. So we are diversified, so we create different you know styles. So where are you? Are, you are, are you from Kumasi or are you just living in Kumasi? I'm from Kumasi. Yeah, yeah from Kumasi. So earlier on, I heard you like were in Basra and then you moved back. Mm -hmm. So what do I hear the story behind the move? Let's start from what did you move back and when did you move back? To yeah, I mean, I left Ghana when I was I just turned twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, and then I uh, lived. I spent nineteen years in Germany, and then um, I spent fourteen years in the UK. Wow. Yeah, so you know, I spent like 33 years, 33 outside. years outside, and I decided that um, it's enough. I need to come back home, take care of my mom, my other siblings, get the kids to bond with their with their family here. Because one thing that uh, we miss, you know, traveling outside is, you see, our generation we were we bonded with our cousins, the family, but because we've been traveling, Africans have been traveling. The generations after us, you know, they, they link that, you know, that family stuff. So we need, you see that we are spread somewhere in the US, somewhere there, they don't know even each other. Yeah. There's no bond. There's that together, no the way cousins grow yeah, 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 yeah. We, 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 Like when we're growing up, you, you can't differentiate, you can't say, oh, this is my cousin. We, we are like one. Yeah, extended yeah. family. Yeah. But now it's like, the cousins, they don't know, know each other because we are all spread across mm -hmm. Yeah. So my main thing was to come home for kids to know my mom, yeah. to bond with their grandma, mm -hmm. to know their uncles and you know, and also to, to give back. I mean, that was the, we, 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 we never traveled to stay forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, very few people decided, no, I'm going, I will never come back. We never traveled to stay forever. So. I've always wanted to come back and not alone, but with a family. So I came, we are a family of nine, but I came with six of the children. Okay. So we are eight that came. Mm -hmm. So what was the process like moving back, transitioning from life over there to mm -hmm. life in Ghana? Because you're back finally, yeah. you're not going back. No. So what was like transitioning from life there and here, what are some challenges? Um, I mean, moving back, I mean, the most important thing is, you know, when people are moving back, like families, mm -hmm. most of the time they won't, they don't come like all, all together. So they will say, okay, let the dad, so we'll go yeah, and dad will go over and get everything sorted, you know. But what made it easier for us is we are we are a family of digital entrepreneurs. Okay. I train all the children to own their businesses. That's what I give them. I train them to be entrepreneurs, and specifically digital entrepreneurs because having an online business gives you location freedom your income is not tied mm -hmm. to one country you can move anytime you want yeah. it gives you time freedom you can work when you want mm -hmm. now that we are sitting here our business are still running 
for us. And you can create in financial freedom with online business too. So for me, the core thing is freedom. Freedom is the driving force behind everything I do. And moving back was also freedom. Compared to what you can do here, I mean, I've lived in it's the top countries in Europe, Germany and the UK, okay. but you, can't, you still can't compare the freedom that you have here at home with those countries. You see, Ghana and Africa is developing. It's not developed. It's only when it's developed, that's when they are not, they have potential for growth. But it's developing. So it's great to be part of that developing stage. You know, that's where the opportunities lie. So moving by the transition, it was not difficult because when you are happy, you have a family. The, the, the problem is sometimes the kids are just yeah. if the kids are happy then you, yes. if the kids are happy then you're happy. But and it's all it all goes on how you raise them, even in the diaspora. Yeah. If you don't give them African food, you say, oh, they don't like this, they don't like this. You know, you come here, you buy cheese for their pounds and stuff. <laughs> you know, so they they were using local food that we, okay. we eat. Yes, and they are really down to earth. Yeah, they already introduced them to your yeah, culture. Yeah, and yeah, food the, the and food everything. and everything. So they were, there was not much of a problem. And also, one of the problems with transitioning is Sometimes the choice of schools, yeah. the choice of schools and uh, yeah, education system. And education system and stuff. And we have only two uh, two girls that needed to go to school. The boys are all in their businesses. Okay. David, with the, um, he's the, the, the one with the glasses. Yeah. We do homeschooling with him, okay. and um, he's part of my own mentorship. Okay. Yeah. So instead of teaching the, the normal stuff, he is doing. Uh, he's, he's done even a certification in Google Fundamentals of Digital Marketing. Yeah. yeah that's what. And then he is into personal development. Of course, I have a background in life coaching, personal goals, personal development. So, the kind of books that he reads, like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Fuck You, those kind of mindset books. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it boils down to three things the mindset, the skill set, and the tool set. Yeah. These are the three things you need to drive. Mm -hmm. So, like moving back to Ghana, right? You had a business you set already, so mm -hmm. income was covered. Transitioning was good for your kids because you had already introduced them mm -hmm. to the culture. Is your wife Ghanaian? My wife is not a Ghanaian. My wife is um, German. Okay, you had already introduced her to the culture, yeah, so it yeah. wasn't uh, hard for no, her. No, she's been um, here since we we've been. Together with my for 30 years. 30 years. And um, she's been here since her 20s. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, my wife, mom, my wife's um, um, mom is mixed. She's half German, half yeah. black American. Okay. And the dad is full German. So, let's say my wife is um, a quarter. Yeah. yeah. She's got, yeah. She got black yeah. in Yeah. Her. The last time she did um, the ancestry thing and she traced. <laughs> Part of her uh, roots to Senegal, okay. Cameroon, and yeah. That's what she's working yeah, now. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so, so that's why I'm sure that's why she, 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 she feels she feels at home. Oh yeah, because yeah, now she's not connected yeah, to a part of yeah, her yeah, roots yeah, that yeah, she yeah, yeah. she wasn't like yeah, connected mm -hmm. to before. And and you can see that from my in-law, her, her mom. Her mom. She came for the first time to to Ghana, to Ghana. and her she, she when you do the so she's mixed. Yeah. When you see the the ancestry, that's where you see more half, you know, African. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's why they connect. That connection is always there. Yeah. Yeah. So before moving back, did you like used to visit Ghana with your kids? Yeah, the first two even lived in Ghana for around almost two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. But then, but that time we wanted like '96, we wanted to move back. Yeah. So that's always been on my on my plan, and my dad. They didn't want me at first want to move to move back no, so because they, they to, feel like you have a better yeah, life. Why they yeah, yeah. come in? No, he he, he he wanted me to leave, uh, not to travel. Okay, he wanted you to bring. Um, yeah, yeah. My dad didn't want me to travel at all, so he started uh, uh, to help us build our own house. Okay. Yeah, and then later, you know, sometimes work and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, so he, he was not, he wanted us to, so, to be here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's why when he died, I made I promised myself to. To bring yeah, back yeah, a few yeah, and yeah. connect yeah. them with you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of Ghanaians, Africans, African Americans in the diaspora that are wanting like a way by a pathway back to their road because I feel like a, a lot of them, they are not realizing that Africa has a lot to offer. Yeah. It wasn't the way it was before, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, at the time, yeah, 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 yeah. now we're not yeah. changing the narrative. Oh, yeah. So what's your advice for someone wanting to move up with them, like finding it difficult to make the decision? Um, I think you asked the question before, and we, um, yeah, the, 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 um, the question was whether I had a business or before yeah, coming. Yeah, before coming, yeah, yeah that have source of income. Yes, that, that, that's the thing. That's the, that's the main thing source of income here you see it's not ghana or most african countries are not credit systems yeah like in the west where you can have like 20 credit cards here is cash and carry. cash and carry here is cash so you own a lot of things that you buy you hardly get letters that oh you've not paid this you've not paid because if you own a house in ghana you own that house yes. you're not paying more yes. you're mm. not paying anything when you buy a car Yes. Your car. So it has got a lot of advantages. Mm -hmm. Europe, good. Or the West, you have this payment plan, and sometimes things can change, and you can't pay. And then the letter, the anxiety that is created through letters, pay this, the, the, the threats, and you know. So the main thing is when you're coming, I mean, when you're coming, my advice to people is always have a business. Have have a, have, have a source of income. Something first. that will earn you money because. Don't. You know, a lot of people make the mistake to create an income. When they come, they, they, they say, okay, I've built my house, I've got some savings, let me go and then I'll figure things out. That is a, most of the time a recipe for disaster. Because. It's a different system. Yes, when you come, if, look at the, the price of stuff now. Look at even when we came, rice, we were buying rice for 55 or 60. That same bag is 130 now. Exactly. Chicken also. Chicken, everything look at look at oil. Prices. You see? So the money that you brought by the by death time it's up in. Yeah, because you think it's a lot of money, but you get here, you discover yeah, like no, especially if you're living in Accra, Accra is like the second most expensive. Accra, second Accra, Accra if, if you're in Accra, if you're in Accra and some come renting, paying dollars, I mean... Yeah, there are some millions of paying dollars. I mean, no, no, no. My, my advice is this, and it works. Have a business before you come. And the best business to have before you move is an online business. Online business. But when you have an online, if you are there and you're running a business here, sometimes it's difficult to get the people to manage for you. Yeah. You know, I, I, won't, I won't run a remote business when I'm... There's something you can run, run remote, you know, if you have like Airbnb and all the bookings go through Airbnb and you have a staff managing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do it, but still you have to be present sometimes. So the best online business, the best thing to have is an online business. When you have an online business, you know, it's a business, it, it's, it's not something you do overnight. I built my business seven years before I I, 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 I came. I came to Ghana. Yes, it was already so my, my business was has been is proven, is tested through the group, everything. So whether I work or I don't work, my business runs in the background. You know, and it's not only one business. I always believe in building multiple sources of income. Yeah. So I've diversified my income yeah. stream online. So I didn't come with any savings. I didn't come you have yeah. something here I have, already. I have, I have, we have uh, we were building a house mm -hmm. and uh, first when I came we lived with my mom okay. for three months and that time we we're completing our house okay. so we completed it and we moved for three months mm -hmm. and it was not perfect it was not completed we moved in and we were still working on it we did the inside everything was inside we finished and we started working outside and now it's it's fine except painting you know okay. but we have started another project on this on the, on the on yeah the i heard you say you want you're, you're, you're doing a project for airbnb yeah we do the, the project is more 
we'll get three on suite in an office. It's it's more um, once a while, maybe Airbnb for close friends, maybe friends who wants to come. Yeah, sorry, but the main idea is to um, later, for example, if someone wants to come for training, like weekend retreat, life coach and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's going to be like a weekend package. You can sleep there. Okay. By the time you go, you have your business. You have your business. So after being away for a very long time, moving back, how was people receiving you as family, friends, whatever? Like, just walk us through the process. How receptive were they to like, oh, you're not back? They, are, you know, we're, we're Africa. We, we we deal a lot with family. Family is usually involved in our life. For people like you that have been outside for years, I feel like you've lost a lot of contacts. There's no connection everywhere. So how was it like getting back those? You know that family connection. One eternity later. Oh my goodness, sorry guys. We have to go and celebrate Ghana Golo. You understand how that whole thing is? So yeah, when you were telling us about making connections that you had already lost, that has been a way of a very long time. Yeah. So, oh hi! <laughs> the connections were already reconnecting with your friends, mm -hmm. family and the rest of the house. How's the process? How the process yeah, I mean, um, I mean, although I was, um, I was in diaspora, I still had um, mm -hmm. through, through social media and stuff. Okay, so I speak even with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, like, you know, secondary school days, we still have friends, we have WhatsApp group. Yeah, so the connections were still there. So you have two of your kids schooling here now? Yeah, the last ones. Yeah, the the last ones. How's the education system like yeah. compared to what we had over there already? Oh, um, in terms of the, I mean, um, it's. The yeah, so in terms of education system, I mean, you can hear, um, yeah, most of the stuff are, are the same, yeah, I mean, maths, English and stuff, they do ICT. For me, the main thing was learning more about culture and stuff, yeah. culture, the language, yeah. So they are, they are learning, are they learning the language? Yeah, they are learning, they speak yeah, the language? yeah they, are, they are trying, they are. How long have you been back? Yeah, I mean, in January will be a year, which we came this year, January. That's, you are still pretty young, they are really learning the language. Okay, because you can speak the language to them over there. Uh, no, not that much. I wish I had done that. They do have a yeah, 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 but the thing is, uh, my wife is German, so that's a mother tongue. So okay. at home, I speak German with them. Not true. I don't see yeah, I speak German with them. And then my wife, um, some of the kids were born in the UK, okay, so five were born in Germany. So the ones born in Germany speak German with them. Yeah, the one yeah. in the UK is, uh, so, mixing that that time was a big year, but yeah. now we're, we're here and I'm trying to. They're yeah, missing with the other cousins yeah, yeah, and yeah. family. So they learn a lot, especially from school, yeah. Okay, yeah. that is so nice. Yeah. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk, talk to you about is challenges, or the challenges of running a business in Ghana. Because I run a business in Ghana also. It's okay, you can do that. <laughs> I run a business in Ghana also, so I know there are some challenges. What are some challenges of running a business in Ghana? If you can tell me. Um, it's, um, at the moment, because I don't have any business in Ghana yet. Okay, everything so, is still online. You don't have yeah, anything online yet. I don't, I don't have yet. any. I'm, I'm, um, we plan to start um, our business next year. Go next to the year. Year. Our business is more into education. Yeah. yeah we plan to set up uh, an online school. Teach digital, nice. digital marketing and entrepreneurship. What has gone in digital? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, there's the thing is a lot of the skills are not taught in schools, and many people don't even realize Google has got some free courses like fundamentals in digital marketing that you can do for free and get certification. You see, it's not um, there. There are so many opportunities out there, and you know, before we traveled. Before we will travel and you know you travel in hard currency, come back and stuff. But now in this digital age, you don't need to travel. The money that you want you, the dollars that you want to make, now, you can make it here in Africa. And then you have freedom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like a lot of us overlook the fact that 
Okay, we're, we're, we're in what some people consider third world country, but we're not like as developed as the West Indies, for example, we're still developing. But some things we take for granted is the fact that we have freedom over here. Living as a black in some of these other countries, that's the Western world, can be a bit tricky. But we here we have that freedom to do anything we want to do. So you can earn money here. If you can, if you can make, if you can get a source of uh, income for yourself here, yeah, actually you prefer to like be in Africa and to be somewhere. Yeah. Maybe you can visit and then you yeah, can yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a little bit. Let's say you you earn five hundred dollars here. It's a lot, it's a of, lot money. of money. But if you get five hundred dollars, there is nothing. That's right? it. You see, so you don't need to earn a lot, a lot of money. What you have to need, need uh, find a way. I mean, you can earn money in Ghana, but find a way to earn outside. Outside, yeah. diversify your portfolio. Yeah. Where I always tell my friend that an income stream. You don't build one income stream. Build in such a way that one income stream is coming from the internet. You are any foreign exchange to your portfolio. Because even if you earn two hundred dollars here, yeah, it's a lot of money. Like right now, two hundred dollars is about three thousand. Yes, and and um, um, look at the graduates. How come are they earn like hundred dollars a month? So if you can, some people earn less than that. Of course, a lot of people five hundred dollars, and now the inflation, their yeah. prices have not changed. They, they have yeah. fixed, and that that that's something that pains me a lot. That fixed payment system we have here, I think. If we can introduce that per hour pay system, they do some. It's 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 it's, 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 it's sad because the, those I knew I know some people earn like five hundred dollars cities a month, and now with inflation, ah, and that, everything has tripled. It is it's like any two hundred or, or one fifty. Yeah yeah yeah, it's a two hundred fifty. And that is, that is why that is why people need to learn digital skills. That's why YouTube. Now we are here because of the YouTube yeah, pages, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we all have we both of us have YouTube, yeah, YouTube, 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 YouTube channels, and that's another another form of online business. And it's I tell people it's the easiest form of online business you can start. And because all you need is a Gmail, you need a Gmail account. Sign up. We don't charge you anything. When you reach a certain level, they, 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 they invite you to their partner program. When you have great content, you you get part of the advertising revenue. Seventy percent for you, thirty percent for them. I mean, what what tells you? And need? something people don't even realize is Ghana now. It's still very good for a lot of creators. Of course, of course, of course. anything. And then it's, 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 there's no, it's a lot like saturation. There's no, no, it's not saturated no. yet. It's, it's, and it's, even if there are so many, it's your, your style, it's your personality. I know I can copy your, those, those stuff. Yeah, you yes. know, it's how, 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 how you do things, you see. So there's, I always tell people, if you have a passion or something, create a YouTube account. And showcase it. Yes, 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 take, where, where do you live? You live at, um, 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 uh, let's say, a brick. Go around the brick. Showcase the brick. Put the yeah. Like there are a lot of content set out around Kumasi and its environs, but we don't actually get to see a lot of content from Kumasi yeah. and its app. So I feel like if people that maybe are living in Kumasi have a uh, work that was for your asset, if you even make content about life in Kumasi, yeah. because if you're on YouTube and you're seeing content about Ghana, it's usually centered around Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like making content centered around Kumasi. Yeah. Right now, it will like be a, load, a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Then we just like, oh, to make content, you have to bring in a car. You don't have no, to. No, you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to. I, I don't. I mean, now even our channel, we are two thousand. Oh, it's two thousand seven hundred. You can see. And and we, it's less than a year. And it's it's uh, we started last year. Okay, that's last year. So next year, next, next year general will be two years. Like don't forget to subscribe to the family channel just so you can family see by their nature. family by nature. You can see their transition process, you see the life and the kind of content they make here. I'm sure you get something that you like it. So hit on it now. This will be on the description to be on the screen and it will be on the description video. So just go there, click and subscribe to their channel. Before you go, lastly, I wanted to ask you what's the difference when you left Ghana, you left Ghana very early, you were fighting when you left Ghana and then you moved back later on. What are the differences? The Ghana you moved there and the Ghana you know now. What was the most surprising thing you encountered when you returned? Um, you know, when, when, when I left Ghana, mm -hmm. that time, I, I left in 89. 89. And I remember very well because I went to Germany in 89 and the following year was a German unification. Okay. When I went, I was in the place of West Germany. And there was still East Germany. In 1990, 
October 3rd was the German unification. 89, when I left, there, there was there was hardly a mall here. Like you see escalators. So we when we, we traveled to Germany, we saw escalators for the first time yeah. and then we were climbing, and people were just following, we were just laughing. We were just laughing. But now you, you come back home, the things that you know used to be like foreign, like you see them on your TVs and you see them when you travel. Everything is here. Every corner in Accra, more, more. I mean, there's everything here. What you need is money here. Yeah. The only thing you need here is money. And there's a lot of development, like real estate, like new architectural styles. I mean, things have changed and things are changing. Things are changing. That's why I always tell my friends in the diaspora, now is the time. Yeah, now is the time to come. When you come, in five years, in ten years, be, you'll be yeah. behind the queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always complain, oh, the Chinese are here in Africa, but I mean, what, what, what do you expect? Who, who, who do you expect to fill the vacuum? We are not here. Everybody is. Just we are, we are, we are just, you know, focused. We, we are. Look, we are not prepared to sacrifice to be part. Yes, it's not perfect. We have issues here. Our roads are not perfect. We have problems here. But if we all stay away. And think about what oh, all things comfort. Is. Who's going to fix it? We can't always wait for things to be fixed before we come. We have to be part of it. And for me, that's why I came. Even if there was one guy we've employed, you know, let me tell you this story, my sister. We came to Ghana, we we're looking for a digital artist to draw stuff like this. You know, you can hear it. So, to draw something like this, you know. So we went around and most of the guys they did like canvas stuff yes they do like canvas stuff so we needed someone who would just use a tablet to draw so digital so that we can use it um because i'm an apparel designer yeah. one of my stuff design product so we couldn't find one we found one guy and we had to train him from scratch wow we bought tablets my son my daughter we trained him for a week he didn't know how to create, he didn't have an email account, he knew nothing about Photoshop. We trained him and we started giving him work. Five years we are working with him. Wow. His main income is from us. Even at a time when they, his mom was in hospital, they didn't have to give him money to bring them out. We, we sent him money. You know, recently he was in the hospital and um, he told us um, about the bill and stuff. He paid and he said that we will sort things out for you. So it's like part of our family, you know. So even if you come, you one person's life, you change one person's life. The person that you change, he's going to impact his family. Yeah. You see, so it's like a chain. So that's why. I think it's forward. Yes, that's why it's you know all the stuff that we've learned. You know, I've learned a lot. I've invested a lot in myself. And I remember when I was coming, some of my friends say, "Wow, you are." Ghanaians are fortunate to have you in Ghana and stuff because they know my expertise and I really want to help even if it's one person, two people, three yeah, people I can okay. impact that's it it's not the, the, the mass that you can impact if we all, we all this one employs three people, impact three people you see that's where change comes in so it's very important you need an exit plan from Europe, from the West you should never make it your 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 your, your, your final yes. destination. Yes, but we don't we don't live forever. Yeah. We don't we don't live forever. All the houses and stuff that you are building, what for? If you don't plan to come back. And before you Especially come, for the children of Yeah, for the I mean for the children. We, we we believe a lot in family, passing up and family. Family. Uh, for me it's family. That's why no, but if it's too low, this one is too low. This one is too low. Oh, they're complaining. Please put the last Okay. So, so for me, that's why I try to call family manager. Everything is centered around family. Family is everything, you know. So coming here, I'm happy the kids are, are, are adjusting very, very well, very well. well. You see, I came with them. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They've enjoyed everything. They've done a car bike, oh, you know. So. 
it, it's been great. It's, it's, it's been great and coming to meet you guys. Yeah, <laughs> it's really nice chatting with you. I really want to like get your experience moving back and life here and all So thank you so much for taking out the time. Guys, like I said, don't forget to go and subscribe to this channel. I'll be signing out now. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.